Roblox is not usually known for good updates, but recently Roblox released what I think is a decent update. Continue watching so you can find out more. Dynamic Heads, a highly anticipated update of Roblox was dropped a few days ago. In my opinion, Dynamic Heads is a really great update to the platform. A few days ago, Black Sea News said the first Dynamic Heads have released on Roblox. These new types of heads allow for more realistic facial expressions and work with emotes. And coming soon, voice chat and facial tracking. Right now on the platform, there are three free heads. Currently, there are no paid heads. All the heads at the time of recording are currently free, but that doesn't mean in the future they won't cost Robux. The three heads on the Roblox platform are Dylan Default, which essentially is the default Roblox face, but it'll move around when using emotes inside of a Roblox experience. Next, we have Makeup Minimalist, which is the woman face of Roblox, but once again, this will be animated inside of Experience. The third and final head is Chiseled Good Looks, which is the Roblox man face. To be completely honest, I don't really like the Chiseled Good Looks. The update by itself where players can now express themselves differently isn't all that bad. But really, the way some faces look, it kind of takes away from what the normal, still faces already have. The description on Chisel Good Looks face is, hey there, handsome, which no, I don't know what Chisel Good Looks is or who it is, but it will always be the man face. I scrolled down and found some items which see the addition of mood and eyebrows, which I think are some new accessories that might be coming to the platform, but I'm not entirely sure. Now with dynamic heads on the platform, there needs to be a whole different category on the avatar editor. So inside of your avatar, you will see the new list head and body. This is where you'll notice a couple of new tabs. First, we have style. Style is where all your purchase dynamic heads will reside. Right now, I only bought the Dylan default head since my avatar uses the default smile face. Secondly, there are classic heads, which are basically the heads from before but renamed to classic heads. That's all there really is to it. Along with this update, there is an example video of the default head being used with emotes in an experience. You can see this is not only animates the facial expressions, but when you use an emote from your emote wheel inside of games, if you're wearing a dynamic head on your avatar, the facial expressions come into play as well. This works for every email that already existed on Roblox. This looks pretty amazing, which brings me to say this is one of my favorite updates. Although this could be pretty weird seeing them in game style, I have to say by far, this is one of the top tier updates. It will take some time to get used to, but this will make Roblox look a lot better in my opinion. That is all I have for today, so if you wish, please leave a like and subscribe and join my new Discord server, which is linked below. If you want, please let me know your thoughts on this Roblox update. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.